Hey, what's up guys, it's Tech Confusion, and today I'm going to show you how to use speed ramping in Premiere Pro. You see this a lot in vlogs, but it can add so many dynamics to any video when used correctly. Let's jump right in. All right, so to enable speed ramping, otherwise known as time remapping, we're going to right click the little effects icon on our clip that we want to speed up or slow down. Hover over time remapping and then click on speed. This will enable us to use keyframes to control how slow or fast our clip plays back. Let's drag the track that our video is on to be bigger so that we can see the keyframe controls for that layer. You'll see that these controls will appear on the left of your track panel over here, and you'll also see that there's this line that goes all the way across your clip, and this controls the speed of your clip. So if I drag it up, the clip will speed up, and if I drag it down, it'll slow down. You can also control time remapping by going up to effect controls for the individual clip, and using the speed parameter and keyframe that like you would with any other parameter. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use the controls in the timeline because it gives you a few more options and it's just a little bit easier to control. All right, so let's find the first part of our clip where we want it to either slow down or speed up. In my case, I'm going to slow this clip down right when this guy on the skateboard is about to jump. I'm going to place my playhead right at that spot and then click on this diamond on the left here to create a keyframe. Then I'm going to go to the end of the jump where I want it to go back to normal speed and place another keyframe. Just like with any other keyframe in this program, if you'd like to delete one of the keyframes because you misplaced it, you can always just click on that keyframe and then hit your backspace or delete key. Now that I have these two keyframes, you'll see here on this clip that I have this section here where I can drag this line up or down to increase or decrease the speed of the clip just between these two points. As I slow it down here, you'll see that the actual clip length grows. So just as a precautionary measure, I would make sure you don't have another clip too close to the end or you can avoid all of that and just move the video clip to a new layer. All right, so now when I play it back, you'll see that it goes from normal speed to slow motion and then back to normal speed. Now, each one of these keyframes here on my clip have two handles, and by grabbing one of those handles and moving it away from the other, we can create a gradual slope. And what this is doing is ramping our speed effect, and that's where the speed ramp term comes from. Instead of just jumping from normal speed to slow motion, it gradually gets faster or slower over a given time. And these handles control how gradual that effect is. So go ahead and set those handles to where it looks good for your specific clip. And that's it. Using this time remapping control, you can add a really cool speed ramping effect to your videos. If this video helped you today, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day and until next time guys, peace out.